Hello and welcome to the video. This is a very quick video to look at something that's new from Runcam. This is a new camera for the DJI HD system. This is something called the Wasp. Now this is a new low latency, 120 frames per second, 4.3 camera for that DJI system. And it is perfect for those kind of 50 megabit modes and those guys who want low latency. Low latency is claimed at 28 milliseconds. So if you want to fly fast, so maybe if you prefer racing and things like that this is going to be of interest to you now this is available as a camera only or as a full dgi system with the air unit light too in addition to the speed the camera is designed to handle lower light conditions than things like the cadix polar but the polar is very limited with no low latency mode it only does 60 frames per second only and no 4.3 mode and it doesn't have the ability to change any other camera settings too field of view on this little camera is a little wider than the DJI camera with an extra five degrees so it's 155 degrees field of view. Now this is standard dimensions 29 by 29 by 13 weighs 19.5 grams field of view is diagonally 155 degrees the coaxial cable it comes with is 120 millimeters the shutter is a rolling shutter and the resolution is 720p at 120 frames per second again in 4.3 mode now sadly i can't show you any flight footage because even though i've attached it to one of the models here i haven't been able to fly it because a new firmware is needed that's going to be released by dgi for the link and the camera will work after updating the firmware and i don't have that firmware to fly it yet but i did attach it to a model and power it up just to see what it did with existing firmware and this is the result fortunately it isn't flyable the bottom half of the image is playing silly beggars so i'm guessing that's all about the 120 fps so in summary this is really exciting to see new cameras coming out for the dgi system and i hope that the strength and relationship with dgi and Runcam bears even more fruit in the coming months with new parts of the dgi system but what's really important is that dgi appear to be creating new firmware for it and we haven't had new firmware for an air unit for the original dgi hd system for quite a long time. Hopefully some of the competition from other systems like Walksnail is finally getting them to do something innovative, particularly with Runcam is also pushing them too. So if that's part of it, thank you Runcam. This is a camera that's going to be of interest for those who want high frame rates in 4.3 only. So if you fly fast and close to stuff, then this will be of interest. Once the firmware is out and I can get it flying, I'll post some flying footage. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.